Very exciting, Dashini. Uh, this is a truly, truly historical event. Uh, first time we've ever landed a probe on a comet, and uh, it's it's it ranks man, it ranks up there with uh, being the first man to send into space and uh, landing a human on the moon. Now we've got a probe, so uh, next time around we're gonna round up some volunteers and uh, hopefully send a, a group of folks over to a comet. Yes, because of course NASA has specialized more in manned missions, hasn't it, rather than unmanned ones uh, such as this one. But are you slightly envious that perhaps NASA didn't actually manage this first? Uh, actually, you're, you're correct. Uh, it was the European Space Agency uh, leading the efforts. I think there is some NASA involvement. But I think uh, anytime you have a first, uh, regardless of uh, which country or which group is involved, I think it's a, uh, it's a giant uh, step forward uh, uh, to take a, a word from a, a phrase from Neil Armstrong for humankind. I mean, uh, I think we all applauded when uh, a Russian into space for the first time. And then we all applauded when uh, the U.S. sent an American to the moon for the first time. So now we're here applauding when the Europeans sending a probe for the first time to the surface of a comet. I think that's great. Yet in the last uh, hour or so, Jose, a news has emerged that perhaps not everything has gone smoothly and they're not even convinced that perhaps Philae has attached itself securely uh, to this comet. Uh, you must be able to understand how concerning that must be uh, for the mission yes. scientists. Absolutely. you got to understand that a, uh, that a comet uh, has very low mass, so it has a very weak gravitational field. So when you land a probe, any type of probe into a comet, you have to shoot a harpoon. And my understanding is that harpoon must, uh, may not have taken to the comet, and so it may have landed softly and not entirely secured, and it may even have bounced one or, tw or two times and landed a couple of times. But from what our understanding is that it is on the surface of the comet. It may be tilted or somewhat, but it is still on the surface. So I think the mission objective thus far has been, uh, has been reached.